Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Overdress Chaos deck profile for post-triumphant return of the Brave Heroes. This is the final deck that was one of the five new Glimmer decks from the latest Cardfight Vanguard Overdress D-Format booster set. And with it, I'll have covered all of the eight new decks that were supported in the fifth Cardfight Vanguard booster set. I'll be focusing more on the Festival Collection with the upcoming uh, set being released, so with it. This, uh, I guess, is the final deck to update. The Chaos deck is a deck that focuses on having many different named units in your soul to gain additional abilities, with your Vanguard being approaching Fang's Chaos. And with it, the setup can come with the new cards you set up using the playstyle in the deck. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the Ride deck, just like the other Glimmer decks, it focuses on the Chaos line, with our starter being one with Profound Mercy, Chaos. When rode upon, if you went second, draw a card. The Grey Grade 1 is in the Calm Streets, Chaos. When this unit is wrote upon by your Quagmire of Solace, Chaos, uh, you reveal the top two cards of your deck, put all normal units from among them into your soul, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck and in yours. So, as long as you don't have any trigger units, you can build up the beginning of your soul with the differently named units using your Grade 1, with the Grade 2 being Quagmire of Solace, Chaos. When this unit is wrote upon by Approaching Fangs, Chaos, you can then Soul Charge 1, and if the Soul Charge card was a trigger, draw a card. If it was a normal unit, put up to one card from your soul and call it into rear guard so giving you more of a setup on the field if you have multiple named cards using your quagmire Saul's chaos after riding your main go to grade three which is approaching fangs chaos with it also being the persona ride target we are running three additional copies of this card as well with uh chaos being a once per turn counter plus one discard a card from your hand look at the top three cards of your deck choose up to one card from among them put it into your hand and choose up to one card from among them call it to rear and put the rest into your soul so with this card you look at the top three cards and you choose one card from among them putting it into your hand that is the mandatory uh skill and then you can just put the rest into your soul if you wish if there's not one you wish to call out to the rear guard there may be a differently named card that you just want to put into your soul to set up that and on vanguard when this unit attacks a vanguard if your soul has eight or more cards with different card names choose one or more rear guards and they get plus ten thousand until end of turn if your soul has 13 or more cards you choose all your rear guards instead so this is the main pressure uh, ability that I spoke of with this card. You want to set up as many differently named cards in your soul as soon as you can to assist with that power and setup. With our Glimmer unit, we are running four of the Cool Headed Acceptor Mikani. When this unit is placed on rear, you can counter blast one and then also for the additional power, uh, Soul Blast one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards with the same grade as the card for the Soul Blast and retire it. So you have the many different units in your soul to Soul Blast with this card. So you're able to utilize it very well. And then the Glimmer skill is chaos on rear guard once per turn when your vanguard attacks if your soul has eight or more cards with different names stand this unit and if you stood this unit put this unit into your soul at the end of the turn making up for more of the numbers in your soul by putting mikani into it is a big help there for sure but also being able to have multiple units restand you can attack with this card first if you have another one on the other rear guard then attack with your vanguard chaos and then restand both of those cards as long as you have the different named and numbered cards in your soul for the other cards, that's it for the grade threes. We'll now move on to the grade twos. Now, the good number of the grade ones and twos are differently named units that we run in the deck. But the one that we do run four of just for the setup is four Amazing Frost. When this unit is placed on rear guard, you soul blast one, draw a card, choose a card from your hand, put it into your soul. Then, if your soul has eight or more cards with different names, this unit gets plus 5,000 to end of turn. If it has 10 or more, it gets plus 10 instead. So, this is just another way for you to soul blast the same name cards in your soul to then set up a different named card in your soul for the drew that you got off of this card so the draw that you get just helps with the setup and choosing what card you may want to place in the soul because like i said you could just be off one number and this card amazing frost definitely does help with that play style the rest of the grade twos that we run for the deck are all differently named but they all can utilize more of a generic play style that chaos is meant to revolve around we run the one shadow leak magician it cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effect the one selfish engraver when attack hits soul charge one and at the end of the battle this unit attack if your soul has 10 or more cards put this unit into your soul to counter charge one so pretty useful uh rear guard skill to then put into the soul your uh keenan when this unit is placed on rear during your main phase counter blast one look at the top card of your deck call it to rear and at the end of the turn retire that called unit but you can always make up for putting it into the soul depending on the card you call out using keenan also one cutting sword dance uh kigra when this card is placed on rear perform all the following according to the number of cards in your soul if it's seven or more 
Count Blast 1, discard a card from your hand, choose a card from your soul, put it into your hand, and soul charge 1. Or if it is 13 or more, all your front row get plus 5,000 uh, with that option. Just more soul build up using this card. Additionally, 1 Amazement Magician. When this unit attack hits, you may soul charge 1. The 1 Darius for the additional power and soul charge options. And lastly, the 1 Crimson Expeller. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, soul charge 1. And also, so from your soul, you can Count Blast 1, put this card into your drop zone to soul charge 1, and choose one of your Vanguards and get its plus 10,000 to end of turn. So you run one of for all these numbers, so you have better odds of soul charging differently named cards to better the odds of your Chaos's ability uh, resolving. And moving on now to the grade ones. We'll start off with the grade ones that we do run play sets of. I run four of the Rakusal Hate Dragon. Uh, you could run two of the start deck uh, Sentinels, which don't have the discard draw skill, but that's just to better your odds of, you know, having differently named ones in the soul, but it's player preference with that point as well. Being able to have the Soul Blast with Amazing Frost definitely does help with that play. And also for the next option, which is the last four of that we run for our grade ones, and that is for Steam Maiden uh, Barney. When this unit is placed on rear from hand, if your soul has eight or more cards with different names, Counter Blast 1, choose a grade one or less card from your soul and call it to rear guard. If your soul has ten or more cards with different names, choose a grade four or less card instead of a grade one with that card. So this is mostly so you can call out Makani back onto the field being a grade three unit and being able to choose grade four or less instead of grade one means you can call this card out to reuse again for the restand power and then just place it back into the soul again but you definitely do want four of this card it just helps with that play style of the deck there's a chance you will soul charge it but then that is where your grade two amazing frost will come in for that play and then for the rest of the grade ones i run one of the new flaming pony from the soul buying this card to soul charge two more setup in the soul especially i considered running more of this card if you were to do so you could just drop some of the other different numbers including um like i said the one ofs which is one desire devil bubetsu for the different names choosing your card uh for more soul build up to draw a card depending on how much is in your soul the one lunakia this is a promo card so if you don't have this card you could always put in the second flaming pony for that spot uh deep sonicer for the soul charge uh build up when placed on uh the vanguard circle obviously for uh that skill but it also has the option from your rear guard it gets plus 10,000 power and just a differently named unit as well. These are the four last grade one units that we run for the different names. But once again, the Flaming Pony could take up any number of the other additional spots you didn't want to run for them. And then for the trigger lineup, I do run a good number of different triggers as well. So I run two of the Diablos Girls, uh, Mimi, with this card being that, and two Flinty Slasher. If you wanted to run the uh, critical with the ability, you could always take out two of these, run one of each, and then put two of that critical into the deck as well. And for the draw trigger, I run one Riley and also one Vital Lever and two Diablos Boys Jake. You can always bump up the number of Riley you run by taking out one of the Jakes, having the different trigger lineup for your draws. For the front triggers, I run the one Diablos Girls Natalia, one Diablos Officer Kilan, and also one Huckle Hustle for all different named uh, front triggers. And for the heels, I run one of the new uh, Favriona, one of the Diablos Girls Ariana, one of the Steam Scara, and lastly, one of the Incorruptible Yutha to have all four different heals. Very, very useful when you have this setup as well to just better your odds for your Soul Charge. And the last differently named unit is obviously our Overtrigger, which we can only run one of to begin with, Gamega Held. So with it, you have a variety of triggers to utilize with your Chaos altogether. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, we're finally finished with all of the decks from the triumphant return of the Brave Heroes booster set. I'll be focusing on the festival collection in the following days as well. So definitely look forward to updates from all the support. We got a plenty good amount of support from the festival collection with, I believe, around two cards for each deck at least that had previous support in overdress format. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Qualia out.